What's going on people? It's that time of year when we're linked with every man and his dog. Now I've just woken up, it's Monday morning, and I've seen this story and I thought, you know what, it actually makes more sense kind of leading on to what I said yesterday. Now, yesterday I was talking about Kieran Gibbs, you know, the Arsenal left back, 15 million pounds. I was like, what? We're willing to pay 15 million pounds for a left back. Now I know we're willing to spend up to about 12 million pounds per player, or just in my eyes, but 15 million pounds for Kieran Gibbs, We'll look at other options and obviously we are looking at other options judging by what's in the Chronicle. So Chronicle have reported that we're in for Marvin Ziegler, Sporting Lisbon left back, 26 years of age, Dutch. And that's all I've got on the matter at the moment. But from what I can gather, three and a half million pounds makes more sense to us than 15 million pounds. Because again, we're going to have to scrimp and save somewhere along the lines because we can't go on spending 10 to 50 million pounds per player even though i would love us to do so so three and a half million pounds it's not a done deal we're just linked to him so again it's just another option that we have it fits in the right bracket and obviously we've got left backs at the club dummy has got the shirt at the moment we've still got mbabu to come back who can play right back and left back even though he's been linked with a move to young boys after his loan spell but Obviously, we've got Ashraf Lazar. He didn't really figure too much last season. He should be on his way out, probably to Italy. Um, and obviously, we've got Jesus Gamers there alongside Sadio Haidara. So out of the whole left backs that we've got at the moment, I'd probably say one, maybe even two we'll keep. But we definitely need another one anyway. So Siegel is the man that we've been linked to at the moment. I don't think anything's going to materialise from that one. But again, it's a fresh new link. You discuss it. Let me know if you've seen him play before. I'm not too clued up on the Portuguese league at the moment. But again, obviously, we are because we're after his teammate, Ruben Semedo. So leading on to that, it yeah, looks like there's some fresh developments there. And a couple stumbling blocks as well, because Villarreal are reportedly interested in as well. Which could mean that we could miss out on him as well, because at the moment, we're not playing any sort of European football. I don't even know if Villarreal are playing any sort of European football. But at the moment, <laughs> if I'm a Portuguese player... I might have to say that Villarreal might look like the healthier option, even though you'll get paid way more at Newcastle United. But anyway, that's one of the stumbling blocks. Also, I've also read as well that another stumbling block is what his contract might be. Now, there's no, not been any formal offer, but there's a bit of fake news going around Twitter. I don't know if you've seen it already about what his release clause might be. So again, if he gets sold on to another Portuguese team, apparently, I say apparently with brackets in there that he could have a 30 million clause in there which doesn't make no sense whatsoever Mike Ashley is a businessman I don't think he would do that at all but that's one of the clauses and then another clause is about his sell-on fee and player rights and all the rest of it now so even though there's been no formal offer there's some fake contract going around on Twitter you might want to check it out and then let me know in the comment section below as well so that's the Samido thing as well also Jeff Stelling the Sky Sports presenter He's doing his walk, raising uh, money for his uh, cancer awareness um, trust. That's the one. I'll, that's the word I want to get out there. But apparently, he said not even apparently. He's got out his video saying about Tammy Abraham, and he's talking about out of all the players that Chelsea had on loan, who could cut it in the Premier League. Tammy Abraham. Now, if he came to Newcastle United, this is his words, or I'm just basically going off the video what he said in the video he would be worshipped and be an absolute hero at Newcastle United, which makes sense as well, because most strikers that do well at Newcastle United are worshipped and are heroes at Newcastle United, i.e. Alan Shearer, Les Ferdinand, Andy Cole. I could go on forever. But yes, if Tammy Abraham brought the sort of goals that he scored last season for Bristol City to Newcastle United, if he chose Newcastle United, because obviously Brighton are still interested as well, he would be absolutely hero worshipped here at the club similar to what Dwight Gale was last season. So, again, Jeff Stelling knows the score. He knows about Newcastle United. He knows about the North East as well. Obviously, he's a Hartley Paul United fan, but obviously, he didn't do too well last season. We won't get into that. So, that's about Tammy Abraham. Um, players going out the door, as I said. Lazar looks like he's could be going out the door. Cruel, Sells as well. Um, Hanley as well. Darren Murphy's still keeping himself about, even though I think he'll be moved on. And obviously, we're still in for Semedo as well. So I'm sure there'll be more stuff to be going, coming through. Uh, I saw a link as well yesterday that we linked to Fabian Delph. Not too sure how I feel about that one. But again, if we can get him for something under £10 million, it wouldn't be actually a bad deal. But we'll see about that one moving on. So hopefully we can get this backline sorted out. I really want that Semedo deal to go through. 
Haven't heard too much about that Lijuen, Lijuen, that's the one. Haven't heard too much more about that deal, but apparently if it does go through, it's not gonna go through immediately because the transfer window's not even open yet. So again, that'll be till next month in July. So that's enough for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've heard anything more, let me know and then I'll comment about it later on. Peace.